trailer. You recognize this. This is a typical Max S trailer layout. I've got all the cushions taken out, everything laid out, everything cleared out so that you can see exactly what we're talking about. At this point, I'm going to explain what we're going to do here is I'm going to explain why it's so difficult and so expensive and it takes such high, uh, high you know, highly expensive equipment to flush out the old system. This is, down in this bay, this is the Aldi boiler. And these black lines that run here, run up here to this radiator, and they run back, and they go back, and they go up to a big radiator along the back. And then they come down, 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 and then they come up to this radiator, and then they go back down to here, and back up and down. Well, you all know that water seeks the lowest spot. So what happens is, is Aldi, or New Camp, has only put one single drain in this thing, and it's right here. That goes out and down to the bottom of the trailer. That's the only drain. Well, that drain is not in the lowest spot. And think about it. Here comes the pipes, and they go up, and across in that radiator and they come down. So if I open this drain, what happens to the liquid that's in this pipe? Nothing, it stays there. This is a low spot. Over here, this is a low spot. That's not a low spot. So just opening that drain will drain a little bit of the liquid out, but you'll still have this whole radiator full because this radiator is lower than that radiator this radiator is lower than that radiator and neither one of these low spots is tied to this low to this drain they've got here so this is what i'm gonna do it's a little radical <laughs> but i'm i'm up for it this pipe if you look at this radiator this is the output of that radiator and it comes along here this pipe this is on the passenger side of my trailer, this is the lowest spot, the absolute lowest spot. It's below all the radiators in the system on the passenger side. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cut that pipe, I'm gonna put a T in, I'm gonna drill a hole down to the bottom of my trailer, and I'm gonna put another drain like that one over here. Then, if you follow this line, this is the lowest pipe on the driver's side. I'm going to cut this, drill a hole down through the bottom of my trailer, and put another drain right there. So that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three drains for this. That drain that's original, a drain over here on the lowest side of the passenger side of the trailer, and a drain over here on the lowest side of the driver's side of the trailer. So that for me, draining this is going to be easy. I'm going to, under the trailer, Take that plug off, take that plug off, that plug off, and open the top of the reservoir that you know is back here. And this entire thing will drain by gravity last drop, or very close to it. When I've got drains that are in the absolute lowest spot, that liquid will just drain out into there. I'll put the caps back on and refill, bleed the air out, we're good to go. No pumps required, no nothing. It's because of, specifically, because of this loop, this low spot over here that's, <laughs> that's higher 
then this drain over here, when you drain that, you might get this radiator out, you might get most of that radiator out, but this one stays full, probably half your liquid is still sitting over here in the system. And that's why they have these complex pump systems to try to get that to go, eh, I'm gonna skip all that. I'm just going to go ahead and put a drain over there, put a drain over here. Now, word of warning, be careful when you start drilling down through the bottom of your trailer. You have to make sure you're not going to hit anything. Specifically, you got to make sure that wherever you drill here, that you're not going to hit like a black water tank or a fresh water tank or any water tanks down there, that you're not going to hit any frame member or any of that. So that's what I'm going to do in a nutshell. I'm going to put two new drains in my Aldi so that I can just drain the liquid out. No big deal at all. So let's head back in the house. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Thank you.